time now for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist and Market Journal Chief Meteorologist Al Dutcher. And Al, we are about a week and a half away from the first day of spring. Please tell us that we have seen our last cold blast for a while. Well, Troy, it has been a very terrible February and we followed up with bad conditions here the first full week of March. We had the Arctic air come in after our snow system last weekend. Two days of very frigid weather across the state. We started to see a warming trend on Wednesday, only to follow it up with a wave moving across the center part of the state and dropping anywhere from two to upwards of seven and a half inches of snowfall from the area just to the north of North Platte, all the way over to the Lincoln Omaha metro area and into Iowa. And then, of course, the system that started to move into the state yesterday evening is now basically on top of us. We've seen the temperature slowly rise. We're dealing with some rain on top of the snow, and then we're going to see a changeover as the day progresses. And then yet we deal with another system next week that potentially has even more significant rainfall with us. So the flash flood watches will probably be issued with the system on Tuesday, and we're likely to see some localized runoff issues as we progress through the next few days. So if we look at the upper air model, the system that's currently impacting us is starting to move rapidly toward the Great Lakes. It should end by the middle of the day to the early afternoon hours as it passes well to our east. The surface low now is in south central Wisconsin. That's going to pull the significant moisture to the east of us and accumulating snow up into the portions of Minnesota, Wisconsin, with just the northeastern part of the state having the best area for accumulating snow with this event. Then that system moves off on Sunday. We get a break, it's a little warming. We see city temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30 statewide. As high pressure is temporarily in control, but we do have low pressure that's gonna be forming in the southwest and it's gonna to start to move its way. So we do get one break here uh, on the second half of the weekend. And then we see this deep fascia of moisture starting to come into our region. And it looks like that moisture will arrive as we get into Monday afternoon into Monday evening across the state. That's gonna bring a lot of warmth into our region. And we're gonna to start to see the precipitation stream north especially as we get into the day on Tuesday as we have a straight north flow from the jet or straight south flow to north flow from the jet bringing in copious moisture from the Gulf of Mexico surface low develops in Texas this generally looks like it's going to be a pretty significant weather maker thunderstorm development is possible along the front precipitation one to two inches likely across the southern one-third of the state and then we see this low basically move up as we get into the day on Wednesday to uh, central Minnesota with the surface low basically underneath of it. That's going to stagnate somewhat and keep us in the precipitation bands as we see accumulating snowfall heavy at times across the eastern Dakotas, potentially into northeast Nebraska and the rainfall moves off to our east as we start to see a trough that associated with this start to shift the systems to our east and we will start to see high pressure trying to fill in behind it particularly as we go to the day on Thursday. It looks like a little accumulating snow to the north of us, but the primary heavy precipitation moves to our southeast. And this basically, this trough stagnates for a couple of days in the upper Midwest. That's going to keep conditions a little bit cooler than normal, but we're not looking at Arctic air at this standpoint. And basically, high pressure moves in, and that may lead us to a fairly dry period in the extended forecast as most of the precipitation moves off to the eastern seaboard. So as we look even farther, the 8 to 14 day forecast next Thursday, the following Tuesday, does indicate below normal temperatures, although will be above freezing on several occasions, and a drier trend. So Troy, if we can get by this week, it looks like at least we have a little bit of light at the tunnel. Watch out for some of the flash flooding with these two precipitation events.